Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're going to talk about green screening and chroma keying and what that really means and how it works in Vegas and how to do a simple one and how to do one that's a little more difficult. Let's talk about the concept. So you have different layers of video. Let's delete that layer right there. You have one layer, which uh, we're just going to use an image just for simplicity's sake. Well, this layer right here is the base layer and then you have a layer on top of it that is the layer that is meant to be chroma keyed. Now a lot of times you'll have an image like this something that has come kind of stock footage or somebody has pre-prepared for you where it's got all blue or all green and uh, usually blue or green it can be any color but this image has been prepared with a singular full on color blue so there is this one color of blue in this picture. This can be done by going to video effects and typing in chroma keyer. You can find your chroma keyer here and you can just grab the default and drop it on. Now it might work right from the get-go if you've got a blue screen but don't worry about that. We're going to uncheck it right now just for a second. So here you have the color. The reason it's called chroma key, chroma, like chrominance, it's, it's color. We're going to select the color that we're going to remove. So essentially what you're doing is you're taking all the magnetic color spectrum uh, recorded by your video camera or whatever, and you're going to pick a tiny sliver of that and cut it out. So we're going to first pick the color we want to remove. So let's go here to the color. You can actually select the color manually, and you can even select the color space uh, that matches best. So, for example, if you've used, if you know you're using the RGB color space, or if your camera or whatever footage has a different one, you can actually match that exactly. We're gonna not. You can also just not change anything too if you don't know what to do there. So just don't change anything if you're just getting started. Uh, you can hit this little dropper. When you hit the dropper button, it actually selects any color on the screen and it will match that color right there. So we want to select the blue color and it'll match that blue exactly. So now when we recheck the chroma keyer, you can see it's removed the exact blue color and there we go. Now with the low thresholds and high thresholds, we'll see more about these later. So we've got the color selected. For a basic chroma key, that's really all you need to do is that you can actually see what's happened. When you hit the show mask only, that lets you see what's happened. You can actually use this too. If you leave this, you can actually use this as a mask that you can do other things with. I have a tutorial about that as well. But that is how you see what's being affected. So this says everything has been removed except for these white pixels. These white pixels have not been removed. So now that we've done a basic chroma key, let's look at a more complicated one. So a very famous one is Shia LaBeouf chroma key. So that's, that's a fun one to do. It's got a Creative Commons attribute, so let's do it. So we're going to put Shia LaBeouf in an alleyway. And first off, I need to get this picture kind of matching my ratio here. There we go. For simplicity's sake, we're going to use a picture because video can cause a lot of other things we'd have to talk about, like maybe motion tracking or keyframing and things that we don't really have time to talk about in this particular tutorial, but I talk about in other places. So that's why we're just using a picture here. For example, if that light's flickering, we might want to add a flicker to match with Shia LaBeouf and that would be a background flicker and that would be really super complicated. So keeping it simple, we got a picture. So uh, we're going to grab Shia LaBeouf. We're going to drop him on here. I'm going to delete his audio. Sorry, because uh, we're not super worried about that right now. This is just uh, a little sample of his of his uh, longer motivational speech here. We want to put him, if we see if we make it see through a little bit, we can see how this is going to look. We want to put him on that street there. So uh, to do that, there's actually a few things we want to do. First off, we want to pick this color, but this is going to be a little more difficult. So let's go to the video effects, grab the chroma key or grab the default, drop it on there. Uh, uncheck it again and grab the color and you're looking for the color that's the most representative of all the green so this is kind of a dimmer green and it's also this green you can see it's darker right here than brighter right here it's got a gradient of green now a lot of green screens are this way and this is a very common problem that so it's not going to just going to just automatically do it like it did with 
the Korok, because now that we selected that green, it's a pretty indicative green of the majority of green there. Uh, it still removes too much. It removes a lot of Shia. So when we look at the show mask only, you can see he should be exactly white. He shouldn't be see-through at all. Uh, so we're going to tighten in the, the thresholds here to get exactly what we want and nothing else, right? You can do it too far one way. You can do it too far the other way. So we're going to talk about how to make this a little better. So first off, we hit show mask only. That'll really, really help this because if we don't want any white light leaks there, we don't want any uh, see-through Shia. We just want to do the whole thing. And we want to just try to dial this in until the lows and the highs match. And we got Shia and just Shia. So right there's a little hole in his watch. Maybe we can just tighten that a little more. Threshold is still not quite getting what we want. So what we might do is actually change the color here. So we can actually move the color just slightly. See if we can have any better results. So now, there we go. It's actually pretty good. So uh, then you don't want to change it drastically, just a very slight change to see if that color, changing the color and will help isolate the exact color you want to remove and get less, moving something away from skin tone, getting less of what Shia would be. So um, there we go. That's that's a good mask. So if we get rid of the mask here, now we can actually see Shia. You can see another problem. You can see the green on his skin. Uh, and that's because when you stand next to a green screen, it actually reflects green onto the actor or the object. And that can be a big problem. So now that we've got the mask looking good, let's actually see if we can still dial it in just a little bit more to get rid of that green sheen. So maybe it's almost good. It's not quite exactly what we want. Let's go back to this. So there might be a spot too that's just you're just gonna have to live with his watch there, a little hole in his watch. I think that might be something we can get away with. So let's undo the mask. We go much better, much better. So still a little bit of green sheen on his skin. So this is where you can actually do some more work here. So if we hit Alt and G, we can open up the color grading panel, and we can do a couple of things at the same time. So first off, uh we can color grade this to match where Shy is going to be, match his location a little better. Uh, but we can also do something very cool. We can also uh, change his skin tone and contrast a little bit to make our chroma key a little better. So we want to use two different effects for that. So before we get into the color grading panel, we actually want to go to levels. And we can grab levels and hit the default, drop it on them, and move it before the chroma key here in the effects chain. So now that it's first, what we do can actually increase, it'll change the color of the green screen just a little bit. But it'll help kind of remove some of the green off of his skin beforehand. So now we can redial in some of our efforts here. There we go. So much better, a much better looking green screen. So now, let's double check the mask though. Oh, 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 
we do need to tighten it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now you can see too, there's a little bit of blur when he moves his hands really fast. You can see the green. That's just a necessary evil of a green screen. Something that you can, if you took the source footage, you can avoid. I have a whole video about how to do better green screens. But a lot of times if you don't have a very fast uh, frame rate, uh, you get the natural motion blur, which is one good thing. But that motion blur brings the green into the actor's skin. So you just want to try to make it not noticeable. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the actual color grading. So now we're going to open up the color grading panel. And remember, in the effects chain, this color grading from the color grading panel has to be after the chroma key here, or you're going to do what we did earlier and affect the image before it's chroma keyed, so you're going to be affecting the green behind it. We don't want to do that. We just want to affect Shia, the, the actor or the object. So now we're going to make Shia look a little more natural for the environment. This is part of green screening is making it look like the environment's supposed to be. He's in a very, very, very yellowly white balanced picture. And I picked this one on purpose because it's extreme. The color is very extreme. So we're actually going to go to offset here and we're going to offset Shia just just a hair. You can hold control to do it slow. If you don't hold control, you'll get a dance party and you don't want the dance party. So um, we're going to hold control and we move it just a little bit towards yellow. Because what offset does is it changes the white balance really. And so we're changing the white balance to be more of a yellow. And it's also night, so what we can do is kind of change the gain and be the gain towards a cooler color as well but we want to do it in a way maybe more of a red too to bring back some of his skin tone to keep him looking still natural and not sick so there we go so we can look at our before and after by unchecking the color grader you can always get back to your event chain by hitting this little FX button right here so if you uncheck and check, you can see this is him before, after. He looks much more white balanced for the kind of scene he's in. The last step is to just open up this event pan crop here, and we're going to size him for the for the frame. So, so this position button, we're going to select the first frame, and you might want to uncheck the sync cursor option. Um, that's great if you're keyframing, but we're not keyframing. We want this to be a static frame, not moving at all. So we're actually going to shrink Shia LaBeouf a little bit and make him a little less larger than life. And now he's going to be more lifelike size. We're going to make sure his legs still cut off the bottom of the frame. Otherwise, it would be kind of odd and maybe place him a little more centered on the street. So now let's see. I just, you can use the arrow keys for this or you can use the Motion track keys, remember that F stands for field of view. If you have this cut off, you can actually cut Shia LaBeouf off the screen. So be careful there. So there we go. We've just green screen Shia LaBeouf onto a nice little silhouette alley. That is Chroma King in Vegas Pro 18. Thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one.